Here's what we're doing today. We're welcoming everyone to Madison because everyone here is our home team. We cheer for you because we don't have anybody here to cheer for. So that whole point of this exercise is to give you reasons to cheer for different teams. Now, we're not under any restraints or constraints by the WIAA at all. Although I noticed that they have a couple of rules at the Kohl Center, one of which is no body or face paint. I didn't even know that. The other one is you're, it's illegal to come out of the stands to dance with a cheerleader. So aside from those things, here are the reasons that I gather to cheer for different teams. They can be based on anything, a memory, a smell, uh, an old girlfriend, an old boyfriend, uh, a nice highway you drove through to get to that place. But I've got all the teams here. Let's start out with division AA, AAA, five A's. So Owen Withy, the Blackhawks. I love Owen Withy because just the idea of these two little, little villages together reminds me of two little spinsters who grew up together and the little ladies who live together and they're off to the world to celebrate. Also, the high school finished fourth in the Rube Goldberg Nationals last week. Newman Catholic, Wausau, I can cheer for Wausau. Any team in Wausau because my very first baby crib for our first baby came from my brother when he was living in Wausau. Seneca, which means place of stone, are the Indians coached by somebody named Redmond. Heritage Christian, Brookfield. I feel a little bit sorry for Brookfield. They're, they have their AP scores up on their website and they're called the Patriots. So, I don't know, what do you think? Division AA, AA. Eau Claire Regis, they have the best nickname of all the girls teams down here, the Lady Ramblers. That is so cool. It's a good nickname. They have a lousy mascot, kind of a leprechaun, but their coach is named Cody Rumpel. Oshkosh Lords, they have a player named Teeny. But the best thing about Oshkosh Lords is you have to like the idea of a bunch of girls named the Lady Knights from Lords going on a pilgrimage to Madison. It just fits perfectly. You, ha you have to like Nielsville because number one, it's the most mis misspelled name in Wisconsin. There's four L's there. Also, it was the second city in Wisconsin to get electricity. So, cheer for them. Howard's Grove, there is no apostrophe in Howard's Grove. Although it was once known as, it was once known as Howard. But um, it has the longest name in the tournament, Carissa Gallenberger. That's pretty good. Now, triple A, 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 A. Let's start with Barron, which is only 26 miles from Baronet, which you'd think would have a girls team, but does not. Anyway, Barron is the birthplace in 1922 of Jenny O's turkeys, when a little boy put turkey eggs under his parents' hens to hatch them. That turned into Jenny O's, the biggest turkey processing center in the country, or the world for all I know. Anyway, state of the art, Barron, you gotta cheer for them. Why not? Kiwani. They once had a newspaper there called the Kiwani Listing. But I can cheer for Kiwani because it's the one place in Wisconsin that once had a fake gold rush in 1836. It was called, let's see, the gold boom of 1836. East Troy, the Trojans, giggle, giggle. Okay, get that out of the way. They have the East Troy Electric Railroad. East Troy also has Alpine Valley, which is where Fish made his best album and also where uh, the Grateful Dead loved to play. So the Grateful Dead has been to East Troy more than it's been to Madison. So we gotta like East Troy. Oostburg, which I've talked about before, the Hill of Cheese. Uh, they, have a, they have a player named Lexi Greenheck, but I have to cheer for Oostburg because their mascot or their logo or the symbol looks like a flying clog, which is really kind of neat. But when I think of the Dutchman, the Flying Dutchman, I think of, as always, little fat, bearded guys in leather pants playing accordions flying around. On to double A, AA. New London changes its name to New Dublin every year on St. Patrick's Day. But this is also where Simmons mattresses are made. So we could call New London the sleeper of the tournament, sorry. Also, New London is where Rawhide Boys Ranch is. Say no more. And then there's Notre Dame de la Bay. You have to cheer for these guys because according to um, their website, the students gave up Facebook for Lent. I mean, how important can that be? How can you not cheer for these students? Reedsburg, the Beavers. Okay. I like Reedsburg because I've been there a gazillion times. I used to paint signs there. But also because in 2002, a very mysterious group called the Lucky 13 Revocable Trust won the lottery there and then sort of disappeared from view. 
It's very, very mysterious. Also, their coach, Mark Simon, looks like the nicest guy in the world. New Berlin Eisenhower, the, you call it the historical team of the, of the, of the tournament. I love that historical stuff. Uh, they're called the Lions. They have an antique apple orchard there with a hundred kinds of, of antique apple varieties there. But coolest of all is the fact that New Berlin was once called, they once called it Mentor. So if they elected a Democrat to the assembly, it would be, you know, Fred Flintstone D. Mentor, which I think is pretty cool. Nobody gets that joke, but that's okay. Okay, we have um, Division A, which is the big schools. Oshkosh West. I like Oshkosh West because they lost their three games. I can, I can uh, uh, empathize with that. And uh, they changed their name from the Indians to the Wildcats, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, did you know that Oshkosh Bagash overalls are no longer made in Oshkosh? They told me that at the outlet store there. They have an outlet store, but no place to make it. De Pere once had three Dutch newspapers. Also, it's it's the, it's a it's a shady. There's a shady past there that goes back to some French royalty that supposedly is buried along Daphne Road. I don't know about that. Milwaukee King, I can always vote for because they're the Lady Generals, and I've always had this affinity with. Lady Generals. Middleton, I can sort of cheer for Middleton because I once got lost looking for the city hall in Middleton. I was a young reporter and I was supposed to cover the city council and I got lost. By the time I got there, the city council was debating whether to put up a sign that says, this is the city hall, which I thought was pretty funny. Middleton is the Cardinals. My team as a boy was the Bangor High School Cardinals. That's my connection directly with Middleton. I like Middleton as a place to cheer for. Also, I have a friend of mine who once released uh, an alligator into the Lake Mendota from somewhere near Middleton many years ago, which is one of the funniest stories I know. And uh, finally, of course, we have our annual all-tournament private detective name team. And this year, I've got some really good candidates. There's Nola Mudd of Heritage Christian. There's Heather Wall of Seneca. Maddie Tubbs, of course, of Newman Catholic. Courtney Tura, to use of Eau Claire Regis, Mackenzie Trunkle of Nielsville, Aubrey Dax of Kiwani, and my favorite, Raven Chappelle of Milwaukee King. The deal is find something to cheer about. Find something that you can personally attach to for these teams. I, I think it's hilarious that we have thousands and thousands of girls and their families here in Madison uh, for the week. I hope you have a great time. I hope the weather is wonderful. I hope that um, after you're, you're gone from here, next year you can say to the people that, you know, Green Bay is okay, but what, where else can you do this? This is Madison. Welcome here. I hope you have a great time.